When I was in college, my professor Don Rainbow asked me uh, during a, you know, a, an advising session, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" Essentially, and I said, "Well, I want to be you." You know, I I wanted to have an opportunity to take the things that I was passionate about, share that passion with students, train them, and teach them how to do the kind of things that I loved doing. I've always really enjoyed teaching. When I was in college, I had the chance to do some student teaching experiences with theater and I found that I really enjoyed watching kids kind of have that aha moment and I found that college was sort of my sweet spot. That was where I really enjoyed connecting with students. One of the things that I really love about trying to help create change, um, especially within the DMA community, is um, listening to the students' dreams about what they would like to do, listening to my colleagues' dreams, and trying to imagine how to get from here to there. Some of the challenges just involve those interpersonal connections of mentoring and, um, and helping students navigate new aspects of, of life and relationships. There's just so much transformation that can happen in a person's life through story anyway. And uh, this, this particular field allows us not just to tell great stories, but in the process of telling and making those stories we grow as people, we grow as a community, we grow as artists. And that's, uh, that's really life-giving. Back in 2010, uh, I had the opportunity to make my first feature film, and it meant that I was away from my family quite a bit. And at the end of it, my wife and I decided we really needed to go and get some counseling so that we could figure out how to navigate this kind of stress, uh, not just in the moment, but into the future. Um, Counseling really taught us and gave us some tools for better communication and how to relate to one another, how to uh, listen better. Uh, in the process, we finished up counseling and at the end, our, our counselor asked us, what's a dream that you have for your family? And the first thing that came into my mind was I wanted to go on a year-long road trip to all 50 states. And in the dreaming process, um, we come up with, came up with this idea that maybe we would make a documentary about people around the, uh, America who are trying to make the world better. And then we thought, I wonder if there's any kids who were trying to make the world better. We spent 14 months traveling around America. We interviewed 75 change makers. Uh, we sort of uh, celebrate how the kids are trying to navigate and play a role in, um, in helping out in these situations um, and respond to these challenges in really creative ways with the hope that people who watch the movie will be uh, inspired to go out themselves and try to be change makers. That's really the the goal is to inspire kids who want to make a difference in the world. Alongside that, every single week we have these stories of hope, stories of redemption, stories of, um, of possibility, and it, uh, it really profoundly shaped us. So much so that at the end of our trip, we, uh, we started dreaming, how might we be change makers like these kids that we've been meeting? In one sense, you have to be a dreamer, you have to be able to imagine a different reality. Uh, I think another aspect of being a change maker is perseverance. You really don't get much done if you give up easily. Because change takes time, you have to be able to stick to it. And one of the best ways to stick to it is to have a community that's working with you to add accountability um, and structure. And, uh, and so that's another thing that these kids taught us is that uh, collaboration is a foundational element of change. Resilience, you're gonna run into roadblocks. You're gonna face challenges along the way. It really takes per perseverance and resilience. And then bring other people in. Don't do it alone. Find a need, something that needs to be changed, something that could be better. And then try to imagine ways that you could line up the things that you love and are good at and know about with a way to create change. So when we were traveling, we were being inspired all the time by the stories that we were hearing. That changed me to the core. They see a possibility for a different kind of a future. And that light in their eyes, that hope in their heart, maybe it's a naive idealism, or maybe it's a glimpse of what God might really have for the world. And when I look at change makers, I see that they can imagine what it might be like for the kingdom to be made real on earth as it is in heaven and to be working toward that. And to me, that's living out the gospel in a profound and wonderfully positive way.